What's up, yogis? It's Hiro, and welcome to the Aloe Yoga YouTube channel. I'm super excited to take you through my functional flow yoga class. We're going to get a little bit of everything and、um, introduce some mobility. So I'm excited. Let's get started. Start off just in a modified hero pose and close your eyes. Take a second here to just breathe and get connected with your mat.、So、nice deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Another two times, just like this, breathing in through the nose, breathing into the belly. And exhale out the mouth. Last one, nice and deep in through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. All right, let's get started. Blink your eyes open, please. Let's come into a tabletop position here. Hands underneath the shoulders, and knees underneath the hips. And let's do a few rounds of cat cows. So take a big inhale and start to reach your heart forward, keeping the belly hugging in here and rolling the shoulder blades down your back.、And、on your exhale, puffing up the middle of the spine up towards the ceiling. Two more times, just like this. Inhale. Reaching the heart through, pulling the shoulder blades down your back. And on your exhale, cat pose, really lifting up the spine in between the shoulder blades. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Coming back into a tabletop position, a neutral spine here. We're going to extend our right leg back, tucking the toes down into the ground. And really make sure to flex the quad, pull the belly in, and let's start working on our shoulders. So, I want you to lift up the spine in between the shoulders and lift up the head as well. Sometimes we have a tendency of dropping the head down and really rounding out the back. So, we're looking for broadness across the chest here. So, with the head lifted, take a big inhale. And then on your exhale, you're gonna draw your right knee in towards your chest as tight as you can. Take the right knee out to the right, and then as slowly as you can, you're going to step it forward. And here my toes are turned out. Just make sure that the knee is going in the same direction as the toes. Slightly different from a crescent pose here. You're going to come on up into this standing position, and with the, both of your hip bones facing forward, I want you to think cat back right here in this part of your spine. So pull the belly in, pull the ribs in. And start to move the hips forward, directly forward, keeping the back glute squeezing. Exhale, come back out. We're gonna do this two more times. Inhale, moving the hips forward, maintaining that cat back here in the belly and the ribs. And exhale, come on back. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Plant the hands down, shoulder width apart here. Come off the back knee and slowly step on up into Malasana. So, turning the toes out, making sure the knees are right over the ankles, going in the same direction as the toes. Instead of bringing the hands into prayer and pressing onto the insides of the knees, I want you to take your arms out in front of you. And then from here, really try to find that natural curve in the spine. So, you're squeezing your outer glutes and lifting up until you can get your spine nice and straight here. Breathe here. Take a big inhale. And on your exhale, stand all the way up. Parallel the feet out towards each other. Bring your hands into prayer. Hug the belly in here and reach your heart up. Start to take a back bend. Keep drawing in the belly. And exhale, come into a forward fold. You can shake out the head here, rock the hips side to side. Maybe put a slight bend into the knees and bounce your legs, just warming up the body here. And then take an inhale here, draw the belly in, and on your exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands down. We're going to step it back into a plank pose and lower the knees down, coming back into this tabletop position. On your inhale, reach the left leg back, tucking the toes down into the mat, and flex the quad, hug the belly in, find that protraction in the shoulder blades, keeping the back of the head lifted. And on your exhale, draw the knee in towards your chest, really squeeze in, push the ground away. Take the left knee out to the left and step forward as slowly as you can. 
come on up into this weird lunge position. You can untuck the back toes, really focusing on squeezing the legs in towards each other. And with the legs squeezing in, just try to flex the back glute here. Both hip points facing forward. We're going to inhale, dip our hips forward here, taking this front knee out in the direction of the toes, and exhale, come on back. Inhale, driving forward, and exhale, come on back. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Plant the hands down. Again, finding that protraction in the shoulder blades, coming off the back knee, and slide forward into your malasana. Again, elbows off the inner thighs here. Take your arms forward. You can always bring your hands into prayer. And taking the roundness out of the back by shooting the weight back, maybe even lifting up a little bit higher here, really focusing on drawing those ribs in. Breathe. Take a big inhale. Exhale out. All right, inhale all the way up into standing. Parallel the feet out here. One more back bend. Suck the belly in. Reach the heart up. Roll the shoulders back. Get a longer neck. And exhale. Fold forward. Shake it out again. Inhale, find a halfway lift. And on your exhale, plant your hands down. Step it back into your plank pose. And then this time, we're going to press it back into downward facing dog. Starting to breathe in and out through the nose here. Getting connected back with your breath. All right, when you're ready, inhale, lift up your right leg, please. Take a big inhale, and on your exhale, come forward, top of a push-up, pause here. I want you to find that protraction in the shoulder blades and lift up the head, and then slowly start to draw the knee in towards your chest. Squeeze it in, take it forward as slowly as you can, step it all the way forward. From here, come on up into crescent pose. Now, instead of taking the arms up in your crescent today, I want you to cactus out your arms. And from here, make two fists, apply some tension into your arms, flex those biceps, like you're trying to show me which way is the beach. And then from here, I want you to squeeze the shoulder blades together and down your back. From here, draw the belly in, draw the ribs in, slowly start to take the elbows together. We're gonna do this three times, so inhale, Squeeze the shoulder blades together and down your back. And on your exhale, spread the shoulder blades nice and wide, keeping the head lifted. One more time, inhale. Exhale. All right, release the arms down. You can shake them out. We're gonna draw the chest forward 45 degrees and really pull the front heel back here. Now from here, we're gonna come up onto the tippy toe of your big toe and just slide on forward into chair pose. Feet hips width apart here. We're gonna release the arms down and face the palms back. From here, getting nice and broad across the chest, we're gonna slowly take the arms back, take the arms back, take the arms back. When you get to about here, the shoulders are gonna to wanna to round, so I want you to open up the chest. Keep the belly hugging in. Take a big inhale. And on your exhale, make two fists and bring them behind your back. Start to press the knuckles into your low back. Flex the biceps. Open up the shoulders a little bit more. Take one more inhale. Sit down a little bit lower. On your exhale, slowly release. Hands into prayer here. Take a back bend. And exhale, fold forward. Shake it out. Inhale, find a halfway lift here, draw the belly in, and on your exhale, plant the hands down, step it back into your plank pose. Pause here, find that protraction in the shoulder blades, and from here, let's draw the right heel in towards our butt. You're gonna roll to the outside edge of the left foot, keep pushing down through the left hand, come onto the right fingertips, take this into your side plank. Big inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna plant the right foot down behind you and sit all the way down onto the ground. Turn the left toes up towards the ceiling. 
Inhale, reach up nice and tall. And on your exhale, you're gonna reach forward onto the inside of this right leg. Release the head, shake it out. Take a big inhale, reach your heart forward. And on your exhale, sit back up. Reach on up. Now you're gonna look to the left, plant your left hand down, fingers facing the front of the room. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot, lift up the hips for your flip dog. And on your exhale, flip it back over into downward facing dog. Few deep breaths here. You can always come down into child's pose and take a break if you need to. This is a good time to get connected with your breath if you lost connection to it. Breathing in and out through the nose. All right, when you're ready, inhale, lift up the left leg here. Charging through the toes, pulling the belly away from the thighs. And on your exhale, come forward, top of a push-up. Draw the knee in towards your nose, pause. Find that protraction in the shoulder blades. Lift the head up a little bit higher. And then draw the knee forward, step forward as slowly as you can. Come on up into your crescent pose. Feet are hips width apart here. And we're going to do this again. Just change up the breath. Find your cactus arms. Apply some tension into those arms. And this time on your exhale, you're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together and down your back. And on your inhale, you're gonna bring the elbows together. That's just gonna open up the space in between the shoulder blades a little bit more, your rhomboids, your middle traps. Okay, let's do this again. Exhale, squeeze, draw the shoulder blades down, and inhale, bring the elbows together, heads nice and lifted. Last one. Exhale, squeeze, and down, and inhale, draw the elbows together. All right, release the arms down, chest forward 45 degrees, very actively pulling the front heel back, come up onto the tip of the big toe, and slide as slowly as you can, keeping that knee nice and stable, feet hips width apart, chair pose. Arms down by the sides, let's do this one again. Arms nice and straight, start to take the hands back. Arms straight. Take them higher, a little bit higher. Keeping the chest open here, make two fists. Bring the knuckles into the small of the back. Flex the biceps and start to press the knuckles into the back. Squat down a little bit deeper. Pull the weight back into the glutes a little bit more. Big inhale. And on your exhale, stand all the way up. Shake it off. Hands into prayer. Big inhale, draw the belly in, reach the heart up. And exhale, fold forward. Shake it out here. Rock the hips side to side. And then here, I want you to interlace the hands behind your back, pressing the palms together, putting a slight bend into the elbows, flex the biceps, start to take the arms up and over. Try to create a little bit more length in the neck, rolling the shoulders down and away. Take one more inhale, and exhale, slowly release the arms down. From here, we're gonna step back into a plank pose. Again, finding that protraction in the shoulder blades, we're gonna draw the left heel in towards our butt this time. We're gonna come into side plank, right hand down. Come onto the left fingertips, push the ground away, keeping the shoulder nice and open. Reach the left arm up. Big inhale. On your exhale, you're going to plant the sole of the left foot down behind you and sit all the way down. Right toes face up towards the ceiling. Take a big inhale. Get nice and long through the spine. And on your exhale, fold forward. Inhale, pull your heart through here. And on your exhale, sit back up, reaching up. Next exhale, right fingertips down, fingers facing the front of the mat. Lift the hips up into your flip dog. And on your exhale, back into your downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. And again, you can always come back into child's pose. Taking a break. A break to really just get connected back with where you are 
right now. Okay, from your downward dog, inhale, lift up the right leg here. You can open it up here, bend the knee. And on your exhale, level out the hips, come forward into plank pose. Again, pausing here, finding that protraction, keeping the head lifted. Draw the knee in as tight as you can, as slowly as you can, step it all the way through. Drop down onto the back heel here and windmill up into warrior two. Here in this warrior two, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. You're gonna release your arms down by your sides. You're gonna take the arms back behind you as much as you can, keeping the chest open. Make two fists. Bring the knuckles together, and this time, instead of pressing the knuckles into the low back, I want you to bring the knuckles away from your back as much as possible and squeeze the knuckles up towards the back of your head as much as possible. This is gonna be great, especially for your shoulder girdle, finding this internal rotation. Take a big inhale, and on your exhale, slowly release. Straighten out the front leg here, reaching your right arm up, trying to find length in both side bodies. And on your exhale, re-bend into the front knee, back into this warrior two. You're gonna spin onto the ball of the back foot, straighten out the front leg. Now from here, if you need a little bit more support, you can always drop down onto the back heel. I'm gonna stay here onto the ball of the foot, bring my hands here to the waist. Now, a lot of times we hyperextend this front knee, so I really want you to squeeze the legs together here as much as you can. Pull the front heel back, start to tilt the pelvis forward. And you really don't have to go far in order to feel this in the hamstring. But this is great because it really keeps your hamstring nice and active. Take a big inhale here. And on your exhale, re-bend into the front knee. Plant your left hand down. Start to roll to the outside edges of the feet here. And slowly make your way back into this side plank here. Bend the right heel in towards your butt. Plant the foot down. Sit all the way down. Round two here. Inhale nice and long through the spine. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sit back up. Turn to the left. Plant the left fingertips down. Find your flip dog. And back into your downward facing dog. Right away into the left side. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Open up the hips. Bend the knee. And on your exhale, hips come forward, chest comes forward. Start to protract the shoulder blades, squeeze the knee in towards your chest. Step it all the way through. Back heel down. We mill it up into your warrior two. Keep squeezing the legs in together here, and then slowly release the arms down by your sides. Take the arms back. We're going to do this again. Squeeze the knuckles together behind your back, and take the knuckles away from your back and higher up towards your head as much as possible. Keep squeezing the legs. Deep inhale. And on your exhale, slowly release. Inhale, take this into a reverse triangle. Reach on up. Exhale, back into your warrior two. We're gonna spin onto the ball of the back foot here. Slowly straighten out the front leg. Squeezing the legs together. Bring your hands to your waist. Slowly dipping your chest forward here. Keep squeezing, squeezing. The more you pull this front heel back, the less hyperextension you're gonna have in this front knee. Big inhale. Exhale, re-bend into the front knee. Right hand down, turn the toes out to the side here, slowly making your way into this side plank. Bend the left heel in towards your butt. Plant the foot down, sit all the way down. Inhale, nice and long through the spine. And on your exhale, reaching forward. You can always grab the ankle or the shin here. Inhale, lift up the chest a little bit more. And on your exhale, sit back up. Reach the arms up. Plant the right fingertips down here, turning onto the outside edge of the right foot. Lift up the hips here. And flip it back over into your downward facing dog. All right, let's get into those wrists a little bit, get into our core. So inhale, come up high up onto the tippy toes. Look in between the hands. On your exhale, bend the knees. Hop forward, right up to the top of your mat. Bring your feet together here and come on up into a chair pose a little bit more traditionally. But this time, release the arms down by your sides and slowly start to squat on down. 
Try to keep your heels down, building up that ankle mobility. And I want you to reach your arms back. We're gonna warm up the wrists. Fingertips down first. Start to lean a little bit more weight into your fingertips. Lean a little bit more weight into the knuckles. And then bring the palms down, Navasana Boat Pose. Coming up here, try to straighten out the spine. Reach your arms down by your sides and slowly lower on down. Ardha Navasana. You can hear my voice shaking here. Try to keep the shoulder blades off the mat, heels barely hovering off the mat. Take a big inhale, draw the belly in. And on your exhale, lie down onto your back. Take a break. Okay, arms up. Now here with the back of the head pressing down into the mat, I want you to flip your palms up and get your shoulder blades off the mat. Find that protraction. Now from here, we're basically doing crow pose on our back. So squeeze your knees in towards your chest and try to squeeze the knees tighter in towards your armpits and press the arms up a little bit more. Squeeze the heels in, push up, draw the belly in, and exhale, slowly release. Arms down by your sides, feet hips width apart here. And if you have tighter hip flexors, it's okay to turn the toes out slightly as long as the knees are going in the same direction. If not, try to parallel out the feet. Inhale, lift up the hips. Bridge pose. Exhale, drop the hips down. And then from here, rolling all the way up into a seat. We're going to bring the feet together, pull the heels in nice and tight, bring the fingertips down by our sides, drawing the chest forward, push through the fingertips all the way back into the squat position. Big inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, you're gonna release the arms down to the mat, shoulder width apart. Come up onto the balls of the feet, start to bend the elbows back. And here, finding chaturanga arms, maybe one foot lifts, maybe the other. Find that protraction here, head is nice and lifted. And slowly set the toes back down, coming into the squat position. Butt down towards the heels fingertips back, rolling some weight into the fingertips, into the knuckles, into the palms, sit all the way back into Navasana boat pose, arms down by your side. We're going to do this two more times. Arva Navasana here, shoulder blades off the mat, squeeze, 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 hug the belly in, keep reaching through the toes, take a big inhale, and on your exhale, slowly release. All right, supine crow pose. Arms up, palms up. Find that protraction in the shoulder blades. Draw the knees in towards the armpits. Squeeze the heels in, belly in. Reach, reach, reach. One more inhale. Exhale. Release the arms down, feet hips width apart. Inhale up into your bridge pose here. Lifting up the chest, hugging the belly in. Exhale, setting the hips down rocking up into a seated posture here. All right, bring the heels in, bring the feet in, fingertips down by your hips, and slowly press, 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 press into those fingertips, coming back into chair pose. Setting up for crow pose again, knees into the triceps, coming up onto the balls of the feet and then bending the elbows, looking forward. Been working on this all class, finding that protraction in the shoulder blades, Keeping the head lifted, big inhale, draw the heels in, exhale, set the toes down, come back into that squat. Last time here, fingertips back, rolling down onto the knuckles, palms down, find your Navasana boat pose, arms down by your sides, lower on down, Ardha Navasana, shoulder blades off the mat. One more inhale, reach through the toes, exhale, release. Hands up, palms up. Find that protraction in the shoulder blades. Draw the knees in nice and tight. This is the last one here, so make it a good one. Pull the heels in nice and tight. Squeeze, push, and release. Bridge pose. Arms down by your sides. Feet hips width apart. Lift up the hips, lift up the chest. Take one more inhale. Exhale, set the hips down. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Pull those heels in, bring the toes together. 
hands down by your sides and push through the fingertips back up into this chair pose. From here, inhale all the way up into standing and exhale, forward fold. Find a halfway lift here, belly in. And on your exhale, plant the hands down. You can hop it back, step it back and lower all the way down onto your belly. Here, untuck the toes, taking a cobra pose. Belly in, pulling the mat back. And on your exhale, lower back down. Tuck the toes, press back up, downward facing dog. All right, nice job here. We're gonna lower down onto our knees. We're gonna get into our hips, focusing a little bit more on mobility. So we're gonna come into something that I like to call 90-90s. We're gonna try and create 90 degree angles in our legs. So uh, let's do the right side. You're gonna parallel your right shin with the front of the mat, and you're going to make a 90 degree angle from the ankles, behind the knees, here in the growing, same in the right leg. And the idea here is you're starting to see your internal external rotation in internal rotation in the back leg, left leg, external rotation in the right leg. Very actively pressing down through the sides of the feet and trying to sit upright. Okay. And find a little bit of movement here. Maybe turn your chest over to the right, turn your chest over to the left, see what feels a little bit tighter. Maybe take a little bit of circles. And then when you're ready, you're gonna turn your chest and your belly button to face the right knee. Place your hands down on either side of this right thigh. You're gonna lean forward. As much as you're leaning forward, you're pulling your belly away from the thigh. And then here, just get a little bit lighter onto the hands. You're starting to use your own outer glute strength in this right leg in order to hold yourself up. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can always lean forward a little bit more, again, pulling the belly away from the thigh, and maybe taking your arms off. Take a big inhale. Keep pushing the side of the right leg down. Just one more breath here. Come back up. From here, we're gonna swing this left leg all the way around and plant the sole of the foot down onto the top of the right thigh. And then from here, getting nice and long through both sides, you're gonna take the right elbow to the outside of the left knee and start to take this into a twist. Inhale, get a little bit longer through your spine. And on your exhale, you can start to look over your left shoulder. One more big inhale here. On your exhale, come on back. Place your right hand down, lean out to the right. You're gonna swing the left leg all the way around. All right, from here, let's switch sides. Swing the legs around. Left shin is parallel to the front of the mat. Finding that 90-90 position, 90 degree angles everywhere. And then again, start to take a second to see how this side feels different. Very actively pushing down through the sides of the feet, trying to stay upright. And if you can, if your knees are down, then pushing down through the knees as well. From here, finding a little bit of movement in the hips, maybe turning your chest to face the right leg over to the left, taking some hip circles. And then when you're ready, turning your chest to face the left leg, belly button to face the left knee as well. Plant your hands down, framing the thigh. Slowly start to dip your chest forward, keeping the spine nice and straight. Again, trying to pull the belly away from the thigh. If you're a little bit more flexible or your glute is a little bit more open, you can walk the fingertips forward, maybe get a little bit lighter onto the hands, very actively pushing this leg down into the ground here. Maybe cactus out your arms. Take a big inhale, a little bit longer through the spine, and then on your exhale, rise back up. Plant your left hand down, leaning out to the left. Swing the right leg all the way around here, planting the sole of the foot down onto the ground. Actively squeezing the legs in towards each other. Slowly start to take a twist here. Hooking the elbow onto the outside of the thigh. If that's inaccessible, you can always wrap your forearm across the shin. Try to reach this glute down onto the ground as you twist. 
and then taking a big inhale, getting a little bit longer through the spine, and on your exhale, maybe taking a look over the right shoulder. One more inhale. On your exhale, slowly come out of it. Lean out to the left, swing the leg around. And then this time, we're just going to extend the leg straight out in front of us. We are done here, so lie down onto your back, cooling down with a Shavasana, shaking the legs out, shaking the arms out, resting the back of the head down and letting the shoulders fall open. It's always good to end class in this position. It just gives your body and your brain a chance to process, especially if there are new movements, emotions that came up during the practice, whatever the case may be. Take a big inhale in through the nose and release it out the mouth. Let's do that again. Nice, slow, deep inhale in through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. One more time, even slower this time. Inhale. And exhale. Now you're welcome to stay here as long as you want. taking a couple minutes out of your day just to find a little bit of presence on your mat, allowing yourself to rest. Especially since we're always doing things. Just actively tell yourself it's okay for 60 seconds to just be. If you're ready to end your practice, I want you to take a nice, slow, deep inhale in through your nose. And exhale out the mouth. Start to find a little bit of movement in your fingers and your toes here. And slowly start to draw your knees in towards your chest. Rolling over to your right side here into a fetal position. Just for one breath. And then very gently pressing yourself up into a seat. Keeping your eyes closed here. Bring your hands into prayer at the center of your chest, sitting up nice and tall. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me today. Hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.